Good day everyone, my name is Empress Blessing Bassi. As we all know, people have different opinions concerning the upcoming presidential election. So today, we'll be hearing their different opinion. Be still to the end. Thank you. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Please, want to hear your opinion on the presidential election. Okay, the 2023 presidential election. Well, what I just feel is that uh, the obedient are beginning to make wave bit by bit. We cannot have the structure in a day. Though the other party believe that uh, there is no structure and those who are of the obedience movement uh, do not have PVC and there are youths who might not participate in the election. But I'm very confident and hope that the narrative will change. Even if it will be did not emerge as the presidential, uh, as the president, okay. um, we will definitely have a voice, and we've we've changed. We were able to change the narrative that okay, youth are now actively involved in politics, and yeah. uh, and then subsequent election, we can have a better Nigeria. The other candidates are competent. Bola Tinubu is competent, but to me, I have a problem with him due to the fact that he is old. And okay. will not be active in office. Okay. However, Atiku is no go area because he's yeah. once been a he's once been the vice president of Nigeria, and we cannot see his impact. At least he, he was part of the years of failure as claimed <laughs> by the ruling party. Okay. So I believe he's a no go area, and most importantly, this context, uh, the presidential election. That is, is between three presidential candidates, uh, Bola Tinubu, Peter Obi, and Atiku Abubakar. The other candidates, I believe, um, it doesn't matter. Okay. So if you were to vote, who would you vote for? I'll vote for Peter Obi. Are you voting for him? I'm voting for Peter okay. Obi, certainly. Okay. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you.